like my days when, uh, when we lived in a closed society completely. Uh, check the, the, the translations in memory.com and see what children in the Arab world are teaching. There is a little Egyptian girl. Go on YouTube who was who's sitting on Egyptian television. That's not Pal uh, Palestinian TV. That's Saudi TV, Egyptian TV. They are telling her, who do you hate the most? The Jews. And what did Allah tell you to kill them? Uh, I mean, this is, this is what Arab children are, are being taught. People who think like that way are Americans who are born here who cannot even imagine how it is to be born and raised there. It's, it's like two different worlds. Yeah, yeah, Senator Adams has a, has a question. Yeah. Uh, first of all, um, uh, I, I want to be clear on something. Uh, this is not our threat. The Quran, the Kofi, this is not our threat. This is not our threat. And for you to use your personal experience. That's not my question. And for you to use your personal experience. Senator Adams, nobody who came here to sure, testify sure, today. Sure. Senator Adams, have a question. This, 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 this is this is have some decorum and let's treat That's everybody who's going to testify with respect. Well, Ball, everybody with respect. This is a, this is offending the hearing. This is offending this hearing by having her here. Senator Adams. This is not our enemy. So we need to be clear on that. The Quran states that. Uh, slavery, sexual slavery is allowed under under Islam for a man to have a sexual slave. So, you pr do you approve of that? Listen, listen, listen. Globally, it's in the, it's in globally, the hand, your hand. globally, we have problems. It's in your hand right now. Where people's statement. cultures are globally, but it wasn't it wasn't the Quran that brought down our buildings. It was not the Quran. The Quran and, and, and what you are doing, you have to you are to bringing one, one person one time, okay. You are bringing hate and poison into a diverse country. So, uh, do you have a question? Yes, I do. I want to know why are we allowing her, Chair, to bring this poison into a hearing that is dealing with, are we ready in 10 years? The Senator, poison Senator. that she's stealing is Senator Adams. Senator Adams. I would like to ask. I, I, I'm going to, everybody, Senator Adams, I know you like the press. Senator Adams, are you going to let me respond? And I know you like the TV cameras. And I'm glad that nobody's in between those TV cameras and you because that's the most dangerous place in New York City right now. But at the end of the day on 9-11, it was Jews and Muslims and Catholics and Christians who were killed. Let us take this moment not to get front page press tomorrow, but let us take this moment to avoid the front page press that will happen the day after another incident like 9-11. Let's let Noni speak. But there's let, some, there's Senator Adams, you are out of line. But there's but, a nut you're missing. This is there not were, there were Muslim cops. Senator Adams, if you have a question, ask at September 11th. Senator Adams, do you have a question? The city. Yes. Are you aware of the number of Muslim cops that protected the city? That should be front page. Senator Adams, you should ask that. Uh, not only, I would like to answer. Actually, these are good questions. But there were, there were Muslim cops every day, and I, I saw those Muslim police officers. While they were protecting the city, they had to go home to their family members who were wearing hijabs and who was in mosques who were attacked. Because of the hate that is yeah. being spewed. I would like to ask this is very please, I would love to respond to that. Most Muslims are the nicest people. I'm not speaking about other people. I'm speaking about the ideology. The ideology of Islam and Sharia Islamic law, which is based on the Quran, states that if a person leaves Islam, they must be killed. It's my civil right in America to practice any religion I want, or practice no religion whatsoever. And today, I'm under a death threat, sir, by Sharia Islamic law. I have Senator the right Senator to defend Golden myself. Has, we'll go through the chair. Senator Golden has a question. The, uh, I would ask my colleagues to allow the uh, testimony to be completed. Um, this obviously is her uh, assessment and her evaluation of how she was brought up in her life. It uh, does not uh, have anything to do with the good Muslim Americans that live in this great nation and around the world. So I uh, must prefer that we move this meet this uh, hearing as quickly as we can and uh, let her have her hearing and her day here. And there will be others following her, and uh, I think that's what we want. I want to get back to what this is all about, about homeland security, it's about the future of this city and this state to make sure that we're safe. So if you... Senator Zelda has a follow-up question. You know, I, uh, I, I'm currently serving in the reserves right now in the Army. I spent a few years on active duty and um, for years had an opportunity to, uh, to study the Middle East 
um, the cultures, the different cultures. Uh, here in America, we have great patriotism in, uh, in our country. And uh, over in Iraq, where I, I spent a little time in 06, um, I, I found that loyalty wasn't, um, you know, first and foremost to Iraq. It was to tribe, it was to sect. And uh, th there were a lot of different types of people that, that are over there in Iraq. Um, I found a lot of people that, that were, were happy that we were there uh, more than, uh, than any polls showed. I found um, a lot of people that really weren't caught up in the, in the politics of it all. They just wanted to earn a living. To, uh, to take care of their, their spouses and their families. Uh, and that was their top priority. They wanted, they wanted to live a life in peace. And I, I, I heard what, uh, I, I'm ha I, am, I happen to be happy that you're here. Um, and I, I have no agenda in saying that. I'm just, and I'm only speaking on my own behalf, but I'm happy that you're here. Because I think that you are speaking about an experience that I, I believe that you did go through. Um, lessons that, uh, that you did learn. Um, and I don't think that what you're that what you're speaking of, and this is I can only speak on my own behalf. I, I don't I don't believe that that you are speaking for everyone who um, who lives in the Middle East, who um, practices Islam, because there's a lot of diverse people, and um, you know, and, and in the emotion of, of of you being here and what you're testifying about, I just wanted to say. Um, Speaking, speaking from my own experiences and what I've learned, that um, what you're saying is it's very important for us to hear, because uh, you, those that experience um, represents the the smaller. It's not a hundred percent, but the the smaller amount of uh, Islam which has been radicalized. Um, I, I would have to say. That